Here we have a theorem that tells us that a square matrix A is invertible when zero is not an eigenvalue. So having this word when implies that this is an if and only if statement. So formally with if and only if statements, we need to use a proof by cases to verify that this holds true. However, we can use logically equivalent statements here to verify both cases simultaneously. So here we go. Our first condition is that we want to let A be an n by n square matrix. Then by the invertible matrix theorem, we know that matrix A is invertible when the determinant of A does not equal zero. Now, this is analogous to saying that the determinant of A is equal to the determinant of matrix A minus zero times the n by n identity matrix does not equal zero. Now, saying that the determinant of matrix A minus zero times the identity matrix does not equal zero is logically equivalent to saying that lambda equals zero is not a root of the characteristic equation of matrix A. Now, if lambda equals zero is not a root of the characteristic equation, then this logically implies, or is logically equivalent, to saying that lambda equals zero is not an eigenvalue of matrix A. Oops, we did it. Woohoo! So this completes our proof for this theorem and completes both directions of the if and only if or our proof by cases, verifying that a square matrix A is invertible if and only if zero is not an eigenvalue of matrix A. So we can now go ahead and actually add this theorem to our ever-growing list of logically equivalent statements that are found in the invertible matrix theorem.